sister, sisters, and my dear friends. For me, this is one of the heartiest and sweetest moments in my life in Bengal. To be with the lowest, lowliest, and the least, as Tagore would put it, of our brothers and sisters. It's an experience which connects us with God. For me, this is a moment when I can see God on earth. The type of service which the Sisters of Charity have been doing is priceless. That is the service of God. In fact, when we say disabled, that is not the expression differently given. When the disabled are given confidence, they are enabled. There is tremendous lot in every individual, be it disabled, be it old. As far as old age is concerned, the transformation which Mother Teresa and the Sisters of Charity have brought about is, I remember a gentleman who was walking or running full round of a large Maidan. After retirement, he thought he is old. He went halfway through the Maidan and was about to come back. The young man asked him, Uncle, anyway you have come halfway through. Whether you go backwards or forward, it's the same, isn't it? Then he decided to go forward. What the sisters have done is that, to people who think, I am done, I have to go backwards, they are going to confidence, no, we can go forward. That is a transformation which you have made, you know. That is the grace of God. In fact, there is nothing to beat that kind of kindness. They say, life is nothing but froth and bubble. Two things stand like stone. Kindness in another is troubles and courage in your own. Mother Teresa, now of course, revered Saint Teresa said, not all can do great things, but small things with great love. Not all can do great things, but small things with great love. That is what I see demonstrated here. These are all our own mothers, you know. They are enjoying life here. But for this service which is here, I am very glad that my younger colleagues in the service, the DC, service, the DC, the district magistrate and the police commissioner, they are also attuned to the need to serve society. That is the spirit which we want. That is the spirit which will keep society going. We want this kind of service everywhere. No one should feel that I am not wanted. Everyone is wanted. It is said on every grain, God has written to whom it is for. Every grain, God has decided who will eat it. Similarly, every individual, God has written what he or she should be. There is nothing called disability. There is nothing called not unwanted people in society. God wants all of them. I see the display of God here. I remember something which happened in the Seattle Olympics. In the Seattle Olympics, it's for the less able, for the disabled. 100 meters race is going on. Nine mentally retarded students, children are on the track. On your mark, get set and go. Only nine children, specially able. Oh, great. Please come. Please, please, please come forward. Please. Please, please come forward. Please come forward. Please. She has taken part in the She has to learn this. So she is an, an Olympian. Give her to her. Three cheers for her. Three cheers. Three cheers. The happiness which she had when she said it, you know. We are all proud of you. Taking part in the Olympics is not a job. God has gifted you for that. In Seattle Olympics, on the 100 meter start, nine mentally retarded children are there and they start running. On the way, one of them fell down. Suddenly, all the eight who went forward, they stop, turn back, run back, 
and they all lift the fallen child, they join hands, all the nine run together, finish together, win together. That is the truth. That is the truth. We have witnessed from one another. Yes, district magistrate, the SP, mother, we all run forward. But unless we have a mind to come back and lift the fallen person, life is a waste. That is the spirit which is here. God's voice is here. God's blessings are here. I take it as one of the most cherished moments in my life. I would love to come here as often as I can and be with them. Thank you so much. God bless you. All the visits were refreshing, exciting. And the visit to this bank invoked a lot of nostalgic memories in me. I started my professional career from this place. And if I have reached where you know I am, I owe it to the State Bank of India, particularly the then Chief Manager, Sri Ashok Raj Chaudhary. There are two lessons which he taught me. One, he said, if you don't get what you like, you like what you get. Second, he said there should be total commitment and dedication to work. These are the two leading tenets which has guided me in my life. Now I am in Bengal. I will certainly try to discharge my responsibilities to the people of Bengal with the commitment which I learned from the State Bank of India. Thank you. बहुत अच्छा लगा हम लोग को एकदम किया और हम लोग सब तरफ हम लोग का अपने हवा में उसको घुमा दिया और बहुत अच्छा से वो बोला कि हम लोग का घर ईश्वर का घर ये पहली बार क्या कर रहे हैं हाँ कब हम लोग पहला बार आए जो जो आवासीय था उसके उसके साथ भी उसका बात हुआ है उसके साथ हम लोग का उतना बात नहीं हुआ है हम लोग को तो मालूम नहीं था वो आ रहा है इसलिए हम लोग को कुछ नहीं मालूम है हम लोग दो दिन पहले हम लोग को मालूम है ऐसा प्रोग्राम क्या था आज कुछ प्रोग्राम नहीं था वो सडनली आके हम लोग के साथ मिले सिस्टर वो जो लड़की था उसका साथ गवर्नर का बहुत हाँ बहुत बात खेलना है तो बहुत बढ़िया उससे बात करती है तो एडुकेटेड है छचल्लिस बस आगे जलपाईगुड़ी एसबीआर मेन ब्रांच कर्मरत छें राज्य राज्यपाल सी वि आनंद बोस एदिन एस वि आई मेन ब्रांचे एस विआई मेन ब्रांचे एस क्योंकि भलो हो पड़े जुड़नो सहकर्मी देखा कर खूब भलो लेगे पशापी एदिन क्योंकि आसाम मोड़े मिशनरिज अब चैरिटी सेवा सदने आवासिक उपहार सामग्री तुले दें राज्यपाल जलपाइ अभिजित बोस इटी भारत